Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? You already know, man, it's your boy, Laron, female rapper lead. Look, I'm back with another video. Please make sure that you come in and thumbs up this video. Please make sure that you hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every it's time It's mad I that they live. not chose. Shout out my vatos. Shout out the hoes that's watching me like my vatos. Click, click, click. All them, all them. First thing I want to talk about, yo, let's get straight into it. Erica Banks, she spoke about the other day, you know, her relationship with Finesse two times. You know, he did an interview. I want to do a very brief synopsis of this because I don't want to make my video too long. So Erica Banks talked about what type of woman he wanted. He wanted a servant type of woman. And she just spoke out and said how she was against it. I honestly understood and I applauded her for this. So let's play. Because there's a lot of comedy going on. <laughs> I'm just here to give you all my side. Y'all know I don't need And might we add she's a young woman too. I, I really applaud her for having a mind of her own. And maybe that's just not where she is right now. And then, you know, she's trying to grind and she's young. Even though I don't like her music and, you know, I don't really listen to her like that. I feel like there's nothing wrong with having, with knowing what works for you right now and what doesn't. Mm. And she's not married. I don't even. So let me give y'all my side of the finesse thing, right? So there's a difference difference between a good woman and a maid. There's a difference between a good woman and a do girl. <laughs> you get where I'm going? And so with Finesse, Finesse wants a servant. Okay? His whole thing was, when I get up, she's supposed to get up and bathe me and clean me and cook and roll a blunt and straighten up and da 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 And that's cool. He is absolutely right. However, just because you just open your eyes don't mean I'm about to open my eyes and get up and get up. Ooh, no. I love her cursed southern accent, yo. I really, really do. I'm tired too. <laughs> don't let because it's a lot of comedy going on. Oh man. <laughs> She said, just because you wake up, I ain't supposed to, like, she posted, like, she's some puppy dog. I understand. Uh, from the night before. Don't let me have But it. listen, I say it in the same terms. Or now it's different if you have an agreement with your mate, like, whether y'all wake up in the morning and y'all go to work out or y'all go to eat or y'all do whatever. Like, just have the rhythm of, you know, the person you're in a relationship, because I think rhythms are definitely important. You know, just having a rhythm, like, if whether if it's Saturday and y'all get up and y'all go do brunch and maybe y'all go for a walk early before, whatever it is, like, but she's not there with this person. And also, she's not married. Yeah, a video shoot or something I was doing the day before. Oh, you might not see me till about 12 o'clock. <laughs> okay. And like in 2023, y'all know, like a lot of happened on the phone. Bookings happen on the phone. Money is calling from what? The phone. They hit what to give you some bread? Mm -hmm. The phone. So I'm going to get up, make sure everybody's straight. Everybody's check on my straight. people. Make sure them scramble eggs and biscuits and you, you know what I mean? Serving. I'm not nobody's slave. Right. I'm not nobody's goddamn puppet. <laughs> <laughs> so if that's not what you want, <laughs> yeah. So to understand, you have to respect me as a woman for me to respect you as a man. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's be clear with All that. Right. But yeah, I just need to get on here and get out of my side because I know everybody was like, I wonder what it really was. He wanted me to be a servant and I'm the flow queen. <laughs> She said he wanted her to be a service, so then look what she posted. Whoa, 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 man. whoa, whoa. I don't know how to act. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She don't know how to act. So she posted up Erica Bay. She looked good and I let you know she looked nice and good in her clothes. Them girl, them look good. She looked tick. She looked tick in them clothes and a little Balenciaga bag. Okay, Ari. Okay, Ari. So then y'all see um Finesse two times girlfriend, she commented and she said, girl, you doing too much. Pipe down with the face like that. Black women, um, they have a lot of comedy. I don't take that emoji as being like mad or anything like that. She probably was like, damn, she thick, babe. We need to get her back over here. Like, it was, nah, I'm playing. But to me, I don't feel like the woman was mad. I, she Look at her. Look at the emoji she made. She wasn't mad or furious or whatever. I'm fully sure she doesn't have anything to be mad at Erica Banks over but um, I just felt like that was funny. She's like, girl, you doing too much. Pipe down. <laughs> Look at every trying to walk out with a little Beyonce bag. Beyonce Be Bal Balenciaga bag or whatever. But, oh, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on to B.I.G. 
L.A. T.O. So Lotto, she was out in Chicago and she did a remix with Mellow Bucks. So look at her. She's doing the whole. Um, the reason why I said like, yo, Lotto, she can't help it. She grew up to Nikki and I know it hurts her that she don't have a relationship like that with Nikki no more. But all that staring in the st sky and doing all of that, like, who do you listen? Heard your album, that ain't it, baby. We heard that album. That big energy was the only thing on the album that really got a reach, and none of the listeners came back from that. So it's like she want to do these cocky Nikki lyrics, and then look at her staring in the sky like. What? Yo, she want to be ice ice so bad. Like, why she want to be that ice ice so bad? Like, you know what I'm saying? She want to be that ice ice, baby. B-I-G, L-A, T-T-O. She trying to do anything. She want that ghetto aesthetic, even though she that girl from the burbs. Ghetto booty, but she came from the burbs. She want to be that girl that's from the burbs that's just popping in. And then she in there talking about she do this for the perkies and all of this like that i was just really turned off anyway let's move on to be uh bl is out here she's talking to fans because she can't take the heat from people asking her you know what happened with the situation with cardi why did she switch up on cardi and we're gonna i'm gonna show you a tweet after this to bring this all together so don't know cardi in real life then switch up on anybody because I don't know Cardi in real life. Mm -hmm. I've never met Cardi. We've never had a conversation. Like, I don't have no issues with her. It's all love, but I don't know her. Like, so uh -huh. y'all do too much on this app. I don't know her in real life. We don't know each other. Shout out to her. We don't know them. Mm. Then well, switch up on. So B is saying that she didn't switch up on Cardi. See, the reason why people are asking Bia these questions in regards to why it came to Cardi is because she had this tweet that she posted on May 25th of 2021 at 529 p.m. And she said, I want to do some Spanish rap ish with Cardi. It would E, it would E A T, right? So then it says Bia deleted the tweets. Why you delete the tweet? Was it because a whole lot of money? So I can understand, like, honestly, even though I don't um identify with Cardi B fans, I can understand why uh, they will, might feel a way in regards to Bia acting funny because why did you delete that tweet? You doing a song with Nicki means nothing. I like the fact that, and you know, that's why I shout those people out like the Lizzo's or the Young Devons or people who could openly say that they, you know, the, you know, Lizzo supports everybody. Young Devon, she supports everybody. I don't respect the people who can support Cardi sneakily or in a certain way and then all of a sudden you not you ain't rocking with her. It just looks funny to me and it makes me feel like I can't trust you either. In my own opinion, you let me know what you what you feel about that, but I personally feel like I can't trust it. It's very important that y'all also continue streaming. Please make sure that you stream Red Ruby the Sleeves. Please make sure that you stream it. Make sure that you follow the Nicki Minaj Army uh uh, playlist on Spotify. You can type it in Nicki Minaj Army. Find it that way. I also wanted to update y'all and let y'all know that we are climbing on radio. Don't you see right here? Nicki Minaj Red Ruby the Sleeves. We got almost a 2 million update on radio, y'all. That is crazy. We deserve that. We, You know, the song is doing good. You see what I be talking when I just, y'all thinking I be talking out my ass. No, it's doing good across the board. It's like she deserved that. Red Ruby the Sleeves, she got almost a 2 million, 1.7. So that's like a 1.7 um, million audience, Red Ruby the Sleeves. So that's going up. And what else? I think, oh, finesse two times back in. And he on the, he on, okay, he on the board. So she knew what she was doing. I think Pink Panthers, okay, yep, the boy's a liar. They got a million updates, so that's doing good. Lotto, she's slowing down, though. L-A-T-T-O. B-I-G. L-A-T-T-O. Where she at? So Lotto, she only got 120,000, but I feel like that, that song ain't doing good across the board. So it should be like, yeah, you it's missing. So come on. I want to see the female rappers. If Lotto could get radio play, I want to see, uh, you know, Nikki. Nikki need to be up there by next week. She got a million updates. We need to see this every day. And you want to be honest, Super Freaky Girl should have been getting updates like that. I know y'all be thinking like, yo, you just like, nah, I'm not ungrateful, but I just be watching stuff. Good Form should have got that too. I just hope that the tides have officially changed in regards to when it comes to Nikki. 
um, you know, with just like this, uh, the, the, that portion of like the hate train that I felt like she went through with like suffering from radio play and playlists and stuff like that. So Nikki posted these beautiful pictures to her Instagram page as well today. So I love these photos. She just chilling. I wonder if this is from uh, anything related to the Red Ruby uh, release. So we'll see what comes into fruition with that. Um, but yeah, this is your boy, LeBron, Female Rapper League. Please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Make sure that you hit the bell notification. Hit all notifications. Let me know what you think about any of the topics we discussed. Let me know what your take is on the whole Bia situation with, you know, why people keep questioning her about Cardi. Also, let me know what you think about Big Lotto uh, copying Nikki and Ice Spice as well. And also the Erica Banks and Finesse to Tom situation. Listen. And this your boy LeBron, female rap. It's mad that they not chose. Shout out my vatos. Shout out the hoes that's watching me like my vatos.